Hi, my name is Allison Clark, and welcome to another episode of Cowbells and Conversations. Would you like to know how to make your life a little less stressful? Well, our next guest is someone who's going to give us tools both professionally and personally to have systems in place that really reduce our stress and give us some sort of structure when things are out of control that give us some clarity and focus. Um, I was introduced to my guest by my mutual friend, Alice Tang. And again, it goes back to the power of connections. So please help me welcome my guest, Addie Clevett. Woo! Welcome. Thank you, Allison. So thank good to be here. And thank you to Alice for introducing us. Yes. So when we met last week, I was so impressed with the systems that you create for companies. But before we talk about that, I also loved your story about how you actually came to Oregon. So can you tell people um, where you're from and then why you chose to come here? It was 1996, right? That's right. You came in Oregon. Yeah. So tell us where you're originally from and then um, how you came to Oregon. Okay. Yeah, that's a fun story. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm originally from Israel and I came here uh, working as an industry engineer. Mm -hmm. And I got a great opportunity to move to the United States. It was almost, uh, you can call it fate, the universe, whatever you want to call it. You know, there was definitely all the things fell into place. And I got this amazing job and I got offered a job. I'd say it was an industry engineering, Israel industry engineering company that offered me the job to come to the U.S. Mm -hmm. And I've been to the U.S. many times before that. My aunt used to live in New York. So we traveled back and forth and, um, I was given the opportunity to either go to Arizona or to Oregon. Now, I've been to Arizona, and uh, with no offense to anybody from Arizona here. Arizona's uh, lovely. Arizona is awesome, and I actually love going to Arizona, but just in the winter. I just couldn't right. spend the summer, right? <laughs> I mean, the summer was not for me. And I didn't know much about Oregon, except that, you know, you remember that movie in the 80s with uh, Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn, um, Overboard? Oh, yeah. Yes. But, so that was filmed in Oregon. So I go, oh, okay, that's or that's what Oregon looks like. <laughs> Great. I'm going You're there. Like, I'm going there. <laughs> yep, movies that's totally, totally influence us. Right? right? Exactly. That's exactly right. That's how art and movies influence us. Absolutely. Right. So yeah, so I came here in 1996 uh, working as an industrial engineer. And then I met my husband, who's a native Oregonian. So I stayed mm -hmm. there since I'm here for two, almost 25 years now. Wow. So, yeah. I love that. And you have raised your children here as well, correct? That's right. My son, Daniel, he's a native yep. Oregonian. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Lovely. Um, okay. So tell us, you have your own company and you work with companies to really make them more productive, save time, get a system in place to right. not only have the legacy of a company live on, but also to have less stress with the employees, with teams and with the leaders. So right. can you just let us know? Um, first, what type of industries do you work with? And then how do your systems really impact people, but also the culture of the company? Sure. So I, we work with um, a variety of companies. So it can be service industries like, you know, CPAs, law firms, etc. Mm -hmm. We work with manufacturing. We work with uh, construction. We have many construction clients that are in construction mm -hmm. or um, also healthcare like dentists, optometrists, veterinarians, etc. So it's a wide mm -hmm. variety of industries because the common denominator is that everyone needs systems. Mm -hmm. They need to organize, they need processes and procedures in order to be able to um, expand, to scale the business. Mm -hmm. It might be also transition the business to the next generation or the next set, or if you want to sell the business. And it has a different, in terms of how it affects businesses, it affects them in terms of training when they are hiring. Mm -hmm the legacy that continues on, uh, risk management, because you, if you do this, the things the same way and in a way that you want them to be done, then better customer service. You mm -hmm. can, there is the continuity part of it. There's a different- And safety, issue. right? Isn't safety that, affected? Absolutely. Because yeah. you, know, you have a procedure on how to do a certain thing and then you have your employees follow it. Absolutely safety. Mm -hmm. So definitely a wide variety of why. And mm -hmm. I think the people that are listening to us and they're business owners, they know if they don't have processes in place, they probably know their own reason of why pro having processes. So basically imagine you have perfect processes, perfect procedures, perfect systems. Mm -hmm. What would that do for your business? Mm -hmm. So that, 
and because every business owner that I talk to, they have the answer of like why they need those processes and procedures. Right. When well, I've even been thinking about, you know, this time that most people have been working from home, that we have to get so much more automated. And in yes. the system that you showed me, there's a lot of ways to onboard people effectively through automation where they don't have to be in an office physically, but they still, they still feel like they're connecting to the company and to the HR teams. Um, can you show us one of those yeah. systems? Because I know that you do all sorts of different um, programs for people, but onboarding is something that I'm really passionate about because I believe that the culture is taught there, um, had the values, just even, I remember Columbia Sportswear telling me that they have a mentoring program where they work with someone for a year just to have a buddy system so that they can actually be onboarded, you know, effectively. But turnover costs companies so much money that your system, when you showed me, I was, I think everyone <laughs> should do this because it really helps people connect, but then also you're going to reduce turnover when people understand the company better. Absolutely. Absolutely. So here, I'm going to share my screen. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Awesome. So this is an example of what we do. So we can document processes and procedures, create them, implement, document and implement processes and procedures for all area of the company. Mm -hmm. So you have customer service, finance, fulfillment, HR, marketing, operations, sales. This is an example of a company, right? So when we start with the project, I always ask the business owner, or whomever is in charge of process, documenting those processes and procedures is what area of your company, if you had well-documented processes and procedures, will get you the biggest return on investment. So if you look at the entire area here, you say, okay, what area? So you brought up the HR, which is a great area. And so then you identify here all the procedures that go with the HR department. So let's say, for instance, we want to go, we want to look at new employee onboarding. So right here is an example of a procedure for onboarding new employees. So here we have the list. So you orient to the office, you set up IT, then we made some, a welcome video to the company. So instead of you repeating yourself, let's say you have to onboard a new employee, you have to repeat yourself every single time. Or now if you're remote, it's even harder. We can make a video welcoming to the new employee to the company. And I'll give you an, I'll show you the example. So let's say you go through the steps and then you watch the video. And do you film these for them? As a newest member of our team at ABC Shipping Company, well. I'm sorry, Alison? Do you do this for them? Do you film and create this? I, I don't do the film, but I have somebody that does that and she's excellent. So, but even if you have your own film, I mean, this was basically taken on a, on a iPhone, oh, but yeah, well, it that's, still that's works, yeah? It is but I definitely have somebody that has professional videos. So, and then right. let's say, for instance, you move on, you read a culture book, you know, we, um, the employee handbook, you know, the organizational chart video, et cetera. So those are the things that, you know, this is a checklist to actually onboard an employee correctly, as opposed to having to repeat every single time. Oh, and yeah. that goes for every other process in the company. So let's say we have the sales process. So here we have like the different procedures. So, you know, you have the procedure on how to identify opportunities, how to uh, qualify a lead, you know, so we do this beautiful flow charts. I love flow charts. Yeah. <laughs> and you have that step-by-step -step that goes with it, et cetera. So that's, that's how you document basically the entire organization. And then you have to make sure that it's all, that it's followed by all. So everybody actually follows that. I love that. And plus you can keep it fresh. So if you need to interchange a video, because I know that with some of my clients, they have made videos and then maybe that person had left the company, but this is an easy way that you can get fresh videos in there. And then mm -hmm. also you can send this link to new employees and they can do it remotely, which is, it's a new way of work. You know, I, from what I know by the experts, like we're not ever going to go back fully the way that we used to work. And so right. what you do is provide a system that anyone can use everywhere, you know, remote workers, but then also once they get back into the office, they can be able to utilize it. Absolutely. I mean, yesterday I was talking to a client where she made a, she made several procedures for her, employee for her employees utilizing videos. Mm -hmm. And then she 
uh, was able to, she actually got a testimony from one of her employees where she they said, oh, we totally were able to do that because we were able to watch it over and over again, as opposed to asking you and retaining only half of the information, et cetera. So it is such a great way. And when I write the procedures, I'll make sure that they implement all the, the ways that people like to start, uh, to learn, right? It's either audio, mm-hmm. it can be, um, so audio, video, you know, read and write, you know, it's like people like also to, the kinesthetic part of it. So they, maybe they can't go and touch it necessarily, mm-hmm. but you can tell them, you can direct them. Okay. So now this is what we do. Go and do it. Right. Mm-hmm. So, or take a look at how we would do this and this and that and go and, um, we have to figure out different ways, creative ways, and we do that on actually implementing all of that together. So it's not just reading a, dry, a procedure that's pretty dry or, and then it accumulates the electronic dust as one of my clients likes to call it instead of the dust, you know, it's like the dust, the regular dust of the um, manual is now it's electronic dust, but we have to make sure that it's in use. And in order to make it usable, you have to make it exciting. You have right. Engaging. Exciting engaging something yep. that somebody wants and that's why we use the different cars on the flow chart you know it's just like different ways that it's visuals because mm-hmm. so visuals. many people have never seen their flow chart of their company they've never exactly. seen you know so exactly. to be able to have a visual it's like oh this is who's in charge of the company these are the different departments is huge right. for people so right. you save people who are already employed at the company a lot of time training but then also people have a resource to go back and review different parts that they don't understand because as humans, sometimes we're like, oh, no, I understand when you don't, you know, right. so this is a way that people can freely go back and find a way that they can learn more effectively. Absolutely. Because, you know, yep. if you have a company that, you, you know, it's growing, it's scaling. So sometimes what happens is, I mean, majority of the time what happens is you, t- you hire people on, you know, you hire people and now you have a group of people. You move, let's say, from five, 10 employees. Now you have 30 employees, Mm -hmm. but they never, you never took the time to actually have a training manual or the Mm -hmm. processes and procedures documented. So now you have 30 people that are doing it their way. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. They make it up. Right. Right. And you're surviving. (laughs) Exactly. That's exactly right. Yeah. And some make it better than others. So now we have to find a way where we can actually make it. So it is the ABC company way, whatever Mm -hmm. the name of the company is but it's that company's way and it's something that everybody knows how to do and they're doing it the same way so that way you can also it's it's easier on the hiring because you can hire not necessarily by ex, just by experience but also the people that match the culture of the organization mm-hmm. right it's consistent yeah yeah exactly. that's great um and then so what do you hear from your clients as far as what's the biggest benefit you're bringing to them so you put this whole system in place you get all the information you set it up when you go back and work with them what is the biggest benefit people say that you actually bring to their organization order i like to order bring order mm. you know just think about a huge amount of chaos and then we put all those things in place mm-hmm. and it becomes it brings order Mm-hmm. They feel like they now they can control. It's order and control. There is better control over the organization, over the company. Mm-hmm. And it's also, it's stability. You know, mm-hmm. I remember uh, one time when we presented, it was a real estate company. One of our clients was a real estate company. And we presented the processes and procedures to the staff. We had a staff meeting. And the reaction of one of the employees was just, um, it was priceless. It was so great because he, he said, wow, I now see that this company is not going anywhere. There is a future. There's a future for me mm-hmm. and there is a future for the company. Mm-hmm. And that company really cares about me. And he just, his productivity went way up because now he knew exactly what he needed to do. Mm-hmm. But it also gave him that stability and that willingness to give back because he was given so much by the company. He saw the care that you know the owner really cares about him to teach him enough about how to do the job. Oh yeah, for sure. I love that. And order is so important in our personal life as well. That's right. You know, there's a lot of science behind what it does to our brain. If there's all that clutter in your home, how it actually affects you. And during this time when people have been home, some people chose to organize some of their files, pantries, refrigerator. I mean, I found some stuff in my refrigerator that was really gross <laughs> personally, but I, I feel so much better just having things right. in order. So I get that. So let's also give some people, um, some tools on how to have more order in your home, because we all know 
what it feels like to have a clean, organized system in your house, whether you have kids or not. And I do know the first thing to do is to make your bed because that's one thing that you've done first thing in the morning that will like that's launch true. your productivity. But what are a couple tips that you would give people to have more order where they aren't obsessive about it, but they could have more um, just calmness with that order? Right. So what I would recommend, and you and I talked about it, we, we both like lists and checklists. Yeah, right? like checking it off. off. I know, I like checking it off. So <laughs> make a list. It's so simple. It sounds so simple, but it's true. You have to make, look at your routine, at your home routine, your personal routine, and make a checklist. Because mm -hmm. if you have that, then you can check it off every single day that you have done that. And that mm -hmm. just, that sense of accomplishment is so big. So even if when our lives become uncertain or chaotic or whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. When you have that stability of like those usual things that you're doing and you know that they're going to be, do, be done, get done, huge. Mm -hmm. And I know people that go to the extent of, you know, like, like, let's say meal planning. So they have a binder with the meal planning, like what meal are they going to do on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, et cetera, right? And the recipes behind it. You can oh, do yeah. it online as well, right? Yep. It just makes everything that if you want to accomplish more, you have to put more order. Mm -hmm, for sure. Well, I've also read um, some studies about true weight loss goes to when you actually track exactly what you eat and write it down. Right. Because we're not aware of, you know, some snacks that we add in there. So really when you plan, you also are way more successful with your meals right. because you have it planned out and you aren't as spontaneous. So having order and really making lists, checking it off, whether it's a bigger goal or smaller goal, but also getting people in your home to help you, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, I suggest making checklists for cleaning the house if you're cleaning it yourself, right? Or yep. if you're or organizing, you know, checklists for your kids. You know, it's like you have to have those, um, the organization there mm -hmm. and plan ahead. For instance, let's say, you know, let's say you sign up for an online course, right? We all have done that. I mean, I mean, I've done it. I mean, I've, oh, this sounds really interesting. And I would sign up for that online course and guess what? It doesn't get done, right? Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between getting it done and not getting it done? What I discovered, those courses that I actually finished from beginning to end is when I sat down at the beginning and I said, okay, this is, uh, let's say it has eight lessons and my goal is to finish it, you know, in let's say two months. Mm -hmm. So then I will schedule my calendar a specific time mm -hmm. of when I am going to sit down and actually do that lesson. So let's say the lesson is an hour and then you have an exercise that you have to do for half an hour. So I will block it down on my calendar. Mm -hmm. And of course it comes down to discipline, but you know, successful people have discipline. I mean, that's yeah. really what, the, you know, athletes have a lot of discipline. They, you know, the difference between, I mean, obviously they have the physical ability to do that as well, but they have a lot of discipline because they practice and practice and they don't just like wake up in the morning and, and you know, just let the alarm go and go, I'm not going to get up and go and practice, right? I mean, they, <laughs> they show they up, up and they do it. Right? Yeah, they do it, right? Yep. So it's well, like, and that's a great point because we have to plan and block time for what we want to do. If you do not plan something, it will not happen. Nope. We've all been guilty of that. Like, Hey, we should get together. And then you never see that person. Right. So my daughter and I are training for a half marathon and we have specific days that we have to run, which right. helps me be accountable. Cause otherwise running 13 miles like this, you'd hurt yourself, but anything in life, you're, if you want more order, what I hear you say is have a plan in place, make a checklist and be realistic about it. Right. Yep. Right. And as you were saying, like have an accountability partner, like your daughter is your accountability partner. Yes. So if you don't feel like you have your own discipline to do that, then find an accountability partner and tell them, you know, be very open and say, I, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to accomplish. Yep. I want to get through this. Let's say you decide to take on a photography course online, you know, because you want to, this is your hobby and that's what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or a business course course or whatever it is. I'm just using the same example because it's very easy to just subscribe to something and then not do it. Not do know? it. Oh yeah. And I don't want to go into the exercise because that might be a little bit harder because then you really have to exert yourself. This is like, you know, this is a little bit of a simpler example, mm -hmm. but have an accountability coach. Either yeah. you hire a coach or you just use one of your, you, you know, be an accountability with your daughter or with yeah. a friend say, okay, you know, every Tuesday, I put it on my calendar. Every Tuesday, I'm doing this lesson. Mm -hmm. Call me up on Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Text and me. And make sure I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, do, and, and then it. exchange. And what do you want in exchange? Oh, yeah. What How can I help you? you? Yeah, exactly. Good. Well, that <laughs> is a cowbell idea. So to have more order in our life, 
find a way to get processes in place at work and also professionally and have an accountability coach. So for your clients, you are their accountability coach. That's you're right. getting their information. You're putting this process into place. So yeah. how can people contact you to be able to hire you to have a system help them? What's the best the, way to reach you? The best way is to either call me at 503-662-2911 or email me at, mm -hmm. it's a longer email address, so it's adi, A-D-I, at bizsuccesscg, so it's B-I-Z, success, C-G, for consultinggroup.com. Okay. And we will link that in this video as well so people can yeah. contact you. Absolutely. But I want to thank you for taking time because when we can have order, it has so many impacts on our life. And the way we work professionally, the way we work personally, definitely play together. So if we Absolutely. have order overall in our life, no matter what is happening in the world, it's going to bring us some more calmness and less stress. Yeah. And as its leaders, if we have that, it reflects down. Oh, and yes. That is super important. That's yes, one more Yes, our point. actions are very contagious. So thank you. Thank you, Allison. Thank you yeah. so much.